Hi, my name is Anna Molnar, and I am currently a junior at Gordon College studying Christian Ministries, Biblical Studies, and Business Administration. I'm part of the Teen Prayer Ground. We wanted to reach out and ask how we can pray for you one prayer at a time while making an app that can digitally bridge the gap between millennials and the church today. Prayer Ground, creating a connected community. Welcome. I am part of the Teen Prayer Ground. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is what Prayer Ground is based on. Hi, my name is Annie Molnar. I'm the CEO, Financial Director, SPCO, and Marketing Director. I have wonderful teammates such as Jennifer Tetla, Sarah Waugh, and Jessica Guan. Together, we make up what we call SAGE. It's our friendship logo. And together, we make up the team program. How can we pray for you? That one question propelled us into creating this company. You see, we understand that there's a problem, that prayers are often collected in unwieldy or cluttered ways, that the digital programs used by churches are not kept long-term because they're costly. Results are unknown or even unclear and you never know who sees it. Have you ever submitted a prayer card and wondered what happened to it? Or has anyone ever reached out to you in the end? See, that's what made us create Prayer Ground. Prayer Ground builds a digital bridge for churches and Christian groups to connect their community one uplifting prayer at a time. We want to create a connected community. Competitors such as Echo, YouVersion, Daily Prayer, and Prayer.com all tend to do this as well. But you see, Prayer Ground does it a little differently. We start at the bottom. We understand and accept that everyone has a need. And sometimes that starts with forgiveness. It's wondering if they've done something wrong or their heart just hurts. And that's when honesty comes in. And when honesty comes in, there's this relief that happens. A burden is lifted and you feel this wonder. It's the childlike faith aspect that propels us to move forward with this. We want to create one community, one community to unite them all. For all the many pockets, the many communities, for everyone to come together and to understand they are part of one big family. And how we do that is we use the software as a service and content management system style. On one end, the user end, you can understand that it's like an app, as you can see in the wireframe here. Complex, I understand, but we'll break it down soon. And the content management system is for the business side of things. So for the administration who uses this, they can go in and see all the prayers collected in one easy fashion. This would be the first page after you log in that opens up. You can see where you can search the grounds. Those are all the endeavors or initiatives that you're a part of. You can click on one, such as students praying for students. When that green bar is full, almost like in the CCC prayers, that means the initiative is almost up. But don't worry, it can be renewed or you can start a new one. So let's say that we're going with students praying for students. You would then go to this page. It's where it would direct you. And you can see all the different prayer requests. See that yellow thing that says answered under anonymous emerald? That means that that prayer request was answered with the 12 prayers that played over them. The next page goes to where you get to pray. You can see any updates. You can see all the updates. You can see all the people that prayed for you in the comments that they played over you in prayer. The final page is all of the initiatives or endeavors that you're a part of. And you can see all the prayers and all of the comments that can happen. And in case you feel discouraged, there's always a Bible verse that randomly shifts on top that helps you get through the rough days. You see, we designed this for Christian groups who aim to reach the digital generation. We contacted Christian businesses, organizations, parachurches, Christian colleges, and churches. And we had an overwhelming response of 25 businesses and companies, 10 parachurch organizations, 14 Christian colleges, and 20 churches who said, I want to use this. Can you get this done? And the answer is yes. We are using a tier subscription service to help go through 
the different stocks that you can use. Basic is your regular freemium. Anyone can use it. Intermediate is for medium-sized churches or groups, like your small group or a ladies' Bible study. Advanced, that's for the bridge builders, for the really big congregation mega church style. Our projections are very promising. Starting within the first month, we know that we can get 30 basic subscribers, 10 intermediate, and five advanced. And the really cool thing is that over time, 50 more percent basic subscribers will happen a month, 20 more basic to intermediate each month, and 30 more intermediate to advanced each month. We have a projection saying that this company will last for a lifetime. And how we will use the finances given from the opportunity and investment you give us is first of all, development and maintenance. Taking care of an app is a really hard thing. My team is hard at work and underway doing many, many amazing things as it grows. But we do need to maintain it and update it based on everything that we get back from feedback so we can make it deliverable and valuable to our users. The second thing is marketing. We know that we have a limited pool to pull from, so we wanna get us out there and expand it. And finally is expansion. We have taken an audacious tax of a phase two, which is creating a web progressive app with this application. And we hope that in the future, we'll have the finances to do so, God willing. You see, none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for our advisors, Russ Tuck and Reverend Robert Wittett, along with my team. My team is such a unique and strong community. Our community is what led us to create this amazing presentation because we wanted to reach out and for everyone to feel like they belong because we know what it's like to not. You see, this all started as Christ-centered. Then we wanted to community orient ourselves so we can be outward reaching. And what we found as the results is people ended up connecting praying and engaging with us. Thus became the question, how can we pray for you? Because at the end of the day, we know that you have a prayer request and we wanna help you. Thank you for your investment and your time. Prayerfully yours, the Prayer Ground Team.